Oh. All right, what's up, everybody? Tiberios here, and we are back. This is part three of One Way to Die. All right, so um, whenever I um was playing uh off camera, um, messing around after I recorded the second part, I was actually just clicking around, you know, uh, and I actually won. Uh, so, there's actually a way to win the game, but I didn't record it, so, what I'm going to try to do now is do that. I'm going to, you know, we're going to go through and see what ways, you know, you can win and what, what ways you can die that we still haven't seen, even though we've seen, uh, 100 by now. Uh, so... Let's uh, start digging and start seeing if we can win. So we're going to go ahead and just eat and go and then we're going to get gas, head to the freeway, pull into the parking lot and we were stabbed. Okay, how did, how, how were we stabbed to death? Spare us your evil. You cut off some asshole and pull into the parking spot he was most likely going to take. With a wide smile, you lock the door, nod to the now enraged driver and skip to the main gates of the fun park. And the chaos begins. You up every single food vendor, each of the various carnival games, and throw in your name through the elephant raffle. Not icing the line... Or... <laughs> oh my god, it, it looks spaced, my bad. Noticing the line is pretty small for the Ferris wheel, you begin to head in that direction when you suddenly feel a sharp and hideous pain in your back. The pain gets worse and deeper as whatever is jammed into your back twists in one direction then the other. You fall to the ground moaning in pain as the guy who spot you, um, stole after, oh, okay, no. As the guy who spot you stole, stands over you to watch you die. What a dick. Alright. And then we were eaten by head crabs. So let's do this again. Bottle cap one again. An arrow. Mice feasting. Okay. Tortoise shell impact. <laughs> I gotta read this one. Okay, you walk outside. There's an eagle nest somewhere near Murphy's Lake, isn't there? Uh, even if memory doesn't serve, there is an eagle nest near Mur Murphy's Lake, and the eagle in question just have carrying a turtle in hopes of cracking its shell and feasting on the sweet meats inside. They usually drop them from high in the air onto stones to crack it open. But this one decided your head was a good target. The turtle shell blasts you in the dome with such force that it cracks your skull open and causes high, uh, heinous damage, killing you on impact. That is terrible. And then choke to death. Um, falling plane. Shellfish, that. Shellfish allergy. Um, wouldn't I know better? Telephone explosion. Burned. Oh my! I can't even keep up. Microwave explosion. Mal I think of my Molotov cocktail so many times right now. Get gas. I did freeway. You <laughs> lizard by aliens. You head up the freeway, um, very, uh, there, notice, I was gonna try and skip it. It's one, just stuttering. <laughs> head up onto the freeway, uh, <laughs> the freeway, the highway, and notice there aren't a lot of cars on the road. Very odd. As you kick it up a few more miles per hour, you notice an odd side up ahead. It seems like traffic was stopped, perhaps an accident or something. You pull up behind the last car and notice that the driver is missing. In fact, there doesn't seem to be any drivers in any of the cars. Confused, you get out of your car and start walking ahead. Just then, the mothership crests the horizon. You stand in awe as it zooms over, up over you and hovers in place. A little hole opens up and a beam of light appears around you. Yep, this is the, that scene you've seen a thousand times in movies and TV shows. However, this is a little different as you burst into a flameless carbon pile instantly. Interesting. Died by bed. Electrocuted via fork. 
crushed by salt. Smothered by a fat stripper. You wheel into the gas station and pull first available pump in front of you at the next pump is a rather large woman who looks slightly familiar for some reason. Rather large may be an understatement, though. Keep looking at her only to be noticed, and she flashes you a smile. Then it finally clicks. She's that heavyweight stripper from the club downtown. She moves with unprecedented speed upon recognizing you as the guy who made it hail last week. You sigh and turn to greet her. Just as she trips over the pump line and falls down onto you, crushing you under her mammoth girth. You struggle a bit as life slips from your body. You already splintered ribs crack more, puncturing your already damaged lungs. By the time she gets up, you're already gone. Interesting. Shot by a maniac. Killed by an airbag. Suffocated from a lim limnic eruption. Had a great time at the fun park. Too bad it's the last day, and too bad you didn't win the elephant. Then again, where would you really put that thing? Although you start to consider the possible place to stash said elephant had you won as you fly up on the highway and get trapped behind a rather large open air tank of water on a big rig. You curiously stare at the tank in front of you trying to figure out what is in there as you glance to the left trying to find a gap in the traffic to get around it. You then spy an opening and go for it. Just as you start to merge under the other lane you see a fin flop out of the water pulling your attention and causing you to accidentally slam into the car ahead of you. This somehow propels you out through the windshield through the air, into the tank, which happens to be filled with sharks. Hungry, hungry, okay. Hungry, hungry sharks. Interesting. Stabbed to death. Exploded. Burned to death. Strangled. Antifreeze. Jet engine. Okay. So. Park my car hazardly. Maybe not even locking the door. Run into the fun park screaming like a child. First place to stop at the food vendors. Within a few minutes, your arms are loaded with corn dogs, fried up linears. Okay, I'm pretty sure I read this. Okay. Um, didn't lock the car, so we go home to free via the freeway. So close to home, we can almost smell it. There it is. That without which no Saudi meeting is complete. You recount what an amazingly awesome day it was as you pull into the driveway and the sun finally begins to set over their horizon. That hideous, dreadful feeling you had all day amounted to nothing more than paranoia, it seems. A smile spreads across your face and you finally feel at ease for once. But as if out of, as if out of spite, the paranoia returns as, and you whip around from the front door staring out into the yard as the last of the sun disappears. Nothing. You laugh a little to yourself and go inside, heading directly up to your bedroom, slumping down to your nice soft bed. <clears throat> you pull the covers up from random directions as you sleep, as sleep claws at your brain, finally giving in, you pass out and promptly begin to dream again. You win! Time to go back to sleep. Or time to go, yeah, time, okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh. Alright. So, start over. Alright, so we won! We won. It's what I wanted to do uh, for this episode. Um, we'll see what else uh, what else we haven't seen. We'll try to try to explore more of the game. Um, but if it, gets, it starts getting too repetitive, I don't know. Uh, but it has been a pretty fun game. Uh, pretty interesting. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh boy, I need a drink. Oh, that was bad. But it's pretty interesting what all um what all they have in here. Um, just to sit and read all the crazy different things. What ifs and you know, it's crazy. But um, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, like it if you liked it. 
uh, comment what you thought, and uh, have a good day.